Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a presence, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. Excuse me as I take a sip of my tea. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I hope you guys got your tea, your coffee, whatever brings you joy early in the morning. Um, but yes, yeah, before we hop in, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. It truly helps the channel grow. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or the North Node, or wherever you have the beautiful sign of Pisces in your chart. This is going to be a love or lust reading. Wow, it's already coming out for you. Oh, Pisces, you want to make yourself known, huh? Okay, okay, yes, the hanged one. The hangman. Um, okay, I see you. Um, <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go ahead and hop in to see um, the person that you're dealing with. Is this a love or is this a lustful situation? All right, that is the theme for the Zodiac reading for today. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with Pisces and their person. Is this love or is this lust? Holy Spirit. In regards to who the Pisces is dealing with, thinking about, involved with, is this love or is this lust for my Pisces, my little fishy? All right, we got the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, this is like, um, the sexual energy is very mutual between you two. Oh, this is love. Yay, Pisces. I love it. I love it. And the and the offer did start off fairly small or it just started off. I'm sorry if you guys can't see this. I'm still getting my angles together. But with the Page of Pentacles, the energy started off very uh, mutual, like you guys were both into each other. You guys both know know or knew what you wanted. Um, I do see someone kind of happy. Okay, so this person can be seeming like they're sneaky, conniving, or vindictive, or they're trying to do something um, sinister, I'm hearing. But in all actuality, they're just very excited. Like they are in an unbelievable energy that you are kind of surrendering yourself to them because it's the page of pentacles. They're, they probably are still young, all right, but they have a lot of potential. You see here, this person, I do feel like with the 10 of cups, like you kind of already see the fruits of this person's labor. Even uh, without you two being in a relationship or the, the, the fruits of the labor being from with, you know, with you or because of you, like, Basically, like you already see how this person is living even without being in a relationship with them. So you basically already see what they can manifest. Okay, especially if this is a male energy. It's like even though it's a page, even though they might be young, they're making shit happen. It's not, okay, you know how people say, oh, I see potential in you without even like literally seeing potential. Like, no, this person has actual uh, 3d manifestations like they own house own car own business okay starting own business from the ground up this person has employees at a very young age okay so they're going somewhere okay then we have the lovers come on now the lovers in a love or lust reading yes this is love divine love i feel like this person has dropped everything everyone whoever tries to come in their in their space their vicinity um, their aura, okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Cancer, or a, a Scorpio, or even another Pisces. I'm also getting Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, but this is definitely love. Let's get one more. <laughs> Ooh, and you're very, very happy. If you're an older Pisces dating a younger sign, like, this person really, really makes you happy. Like, um, okay, we have the page of cups and the ten of swords here mm. i feel like 
in this instance or in this situation you cut off somebody as well like you guys both kind of separated yourself from things that were that had karmic ties or karmic karmic attachments or uh very frivolous meaning to them because with the lovers you in the ten of cups you all seen that this was getting very very serious and like I said, in the beginning, the, the feelings between you two were mutual. So you guys may have had a conversation like, look, if we're going to go to the next level, like I'm ready to cut off everybody I'm dealing with if you're ready to do the same. Because I feel like you guys were open about having other relationships. Yeah, King of Swords with the Four of Wands. Yes. Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Like, they no holds barred. They serious. And they ready to make this house a home. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. Ooh-wee, Pisces. Ooh-wee, Pisces. Or you're dealing with a, a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Yes, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. This is love. True love. Divine love. This is somebody new you met. What is the Ace of Cups? Clarify the Ace of Cups for Pisces, please. Five of Pentacles. So this is somebody you met right after being left out in the cold, right after uh, dealing with a heartbreak or a breakup or a situation, something in regards to moving, traveling. Uh, uh, some of you guys may have put somebody out, but there definitely was a heartbreak. And I feel like you met somebody new. You already moved on. Somebody's going to come back. Give me more for this. Five of Pentacles. Uh huh. Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups. Somebody is going to try to come back after being left out in the cold or leaving you out in the cold and creating a situation where now you have options again. But I feel like, uh, Pisces, um, this new person or this person you're currently dealing with, or if you're single, this person is coming in. I feel like this is um, a grand. And a divine connection that can actually go somewhere. Page of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Lovers, Ace of Cups. I mean, what should Pisces do? That Seven of uh, since, since this Seven of Cups is, I feel like, very dangerous for you because it's gonna keep you in some type of limbo or some type of loop. Um, continuing to be left out in the cold like why would you leave an ace of pentacles opportunity or ace of cups for somebody who's already shown you who they were is what I'm getting what should Pisces do all right we got the eight of swords and we got the empress come out of your head recognize your worth recognize what you okay hold on y'all I, I do apologize I look retarded um recognize your worth you're the fucking empress okay you hold the throne you sit on the throne you got the crown you are amazing abundant uh creative artistic um anything you touch you grow so if you're dealing with somebody who already has fruit just imagine how much more you can expand that with the eight of swords get out of your head that's what this seven of cups is trying to do someone or multiple people may be trying to come back to confuse you pisces to kind of get you back in that piscean energy of confusion delusion no boundaries no create boundaries for yourself in regards to this connection because i feel like if you do it's gonna it's gonna do numbers you're gonna do numbers with this person like you guys are gonna do very well together i really do see that all right again you could be dealing with the virgo taurus capricorn libra aquarius gemini another pisces cancer or a scorpio all right so i'm gonna leave it there pisces i love you like the video and follow me on ig eyf.activate.soulactivation uh, i'll put it in the description i shame.